welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Lexi the Leo and on this channel we talk about all things spirituality astrology and we also do pick a card so if you are into all of that hit that subscribe button and join my pride so today's pick a card guys is all about who has a secret crush on you? This was also a suggestion and I absolutely love this idea. Um, and I do want to say before I get into the pick a card, we have now ended spooky season. It is now Halloween. And the day of this pick a card, if you are watching this today, we currently are in the full moon phase and we are in the full moon phase of Aries. Now Aries, guys, is obviously the beginning of the zodiac. Aries is the first how sis actually right now you guys in october we not only have a full moon on the first but we also have a full moon which will be a blue moon on the 31st in taurus and that is on halloween and this month is actually like a really transformational time and i say that because right now like i said we have full moon in aries now this is a quite a healing time and the reason that i'm saying that guys is because right now with the full moon in aries it is actually conjunct Chiron. Now, I haven't spoken about Chiron on my channel before, but what Chiron actually is, is the wounded healer. And I will be doing a video all about this, but the reason I'm mentioning it really quickly before we start this pick a card is that when the moon is conjunct Chiron, that is when we are going to be releasing a lot of the old wounds that we have had from time from our childhood they're coming up for release i was literally telling everyone i was telling my mother and everyone i was like right okay well we had the full moon in aries but it's conjunct chiron so like expect things to resurface and i didn't even think that it would have like sometimes when i'm telling people i forget that it's also going to affect me and honestly last night when we were in the um the void of course um when the moon was transitioning in from pisces to aries i was just sat there and wounds from my childhood literally came up and i was crying about them and i hadn't cried about them in so long and they just came up and i, I cried for like an hour and i let myself feel it and honestly guys i woke up this morning feeling so refreshed and so good and usually on a full moon, that's usually a time where I take to rest and just chill out. But honestly, guys, I feel so much better having done that last night. So I really just wanted to mention that to you guys. If you guys are feeling lethargic, if you guys are feeling a little bit uncomfortable or things are coming up, let them, allow them to come up allow yourself to feel them okay um because this is helping you release certain aspects that you had kind of buried deep down you know what i mean um so i just wanted to mention that for you guys um before we got into the video because i don't want anyone like you know thinking that they're kind of like going backwards or that like that they're feeling depressed and they don't know why i wanted to kind of explain what is kind of going on right now but without further ado of course let's get into the video so as you can see i have four piles in front of you guys um so from left to right we have pile one pile two pile three and a pile four now like always the timestamps are going to be in the comment section and in the description box so do what you guys need to do pause the video and see which pile you are drawn to and i shall see you guys in your reading Hey, pile number one, welcome to your reading. So let's take a look at who currently has a secret crush on you. So to start, guys, we have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, what am I talking about? The Ace of Wands and the Two of Cups reversed. Now, straight off the cuff, guys, I want to say this particular person is either in your inner circle or I'm picking up that they were once part of your inner circle of your inner world and i'm also picking up like this could actually be an x you guys because i mean the two of cups reverse talks about separation um so that's kind of like the first giveaway here but i'm also being like you guys may be family friends because i'm being taken to family like this person could be like family friends of you you could have been like childhood sweethearts growing up or they could just be a family friend that know you really well um and they've been like in your house you've been in their house i'm actually hearing some of you guys may have had trips with this person or if not guys this is just somebody that you've had in your inner world before they know more about you than the average like kind of like friend you know what i mean it's like 
they're not how can i explain it i'm picking up this energy like they're not like your best friends or like in a friend group for some of, for some of you maybe but it's like they're in like a comfortable circle so it's like they're kind of in the friend zone um or they're just in a very comfortable circle um like how can i explain what i'm feeling because spirit sometimes it depends sometimes i pick up readings where i'm being shown images and they're making me they're showing me images but then they're also making me feel it and the way i'm feeling is like it's almost like a no-go with you like they couldn't or they feel like there's a blockage like a no-go with you because it's like you're so familiar with each other they think that you wouldn't even like them like that it's like you've all you know like in i said this one on my pick of cards the other day but it was for like a different type of reason but you know sometimes in like disney disney shows and stuff or nickelodeon shows there's like that one friend um whether it's like male or female and they're like with the main characters and they're like a friend or a family friend of someone and they're like really close but like they never kind of like get together and then usually towards the end they do i'm picking up that type of energy like this person knows you well and i'm actually connecting a link with your father so maybe like they could like know your father quite well i'm also hearing like there may have been like jobs that they would have done with your father maybe maybe they work with like a parent maybe they work with one of your parents maybe that's what it is the way that they're explaining it to me is like you know taylor lautner from twilight you know his character i'm saying taylor lautner because i don't know his jacob you know jacob from twilight and he knows bella's dad quite well i um, so it's kind of like a family friendy type thing this is the energy now i can actually put it into words this is the energy so if you've watched twilight you know what i'm talking about it's like a family friendy like oh, you've just known them all the way through school like you you know who this person is and they know things about you they know things that you've gone through they're in your circle you know what i mean um this person definitely has a crush on you um i don't know why they're like for some of you guys obviously some of you guys will be females but i'm being shown like you guys getting ready for something and then i'm watching you because i'm being shown somebody putting lipstick on the mirror so i don't know whether they like your lips or they like i'm hearing some of them like when you wear red lips i feel like some of you guys might wear red lipstick because i don't know why i was just showing somebody like looking at you putting lip red lipstick on and really liking it so i don't i don't know some of you guys have blue eyes or they may have blue eyes some of you guys may be blonde or they are blonde i'm also picking that up too um but this person's actually like wishing for something to happen and i feel like they have been for some time um but they almost just feel like it's a no-go you know what i mean it's like it's kind of like an unspoken thing where they just they, they feel like it could jeopardize a lot because there's a lot of people involved like i said i feel like it's like two families coming together and it's like family friends you know what i mean it's like too familiar almost they really do feel like they're in the friend zone but then i'm also picking up for some of you guys and this is a more smaller selection this could actually be like a childhood sweetheart from the past like a relationship from the past that ended up like it ended like long ago because i'm hearing like long ago and then you guys decided to just stay friends and you're cool with each other's families um and that like i feel like they're looking at you now like oh my god i think maybe we should give it another go now that we're older and more experienced like i'm also picking that up too so take whatever resonates guys this is a general reading but um i'm really picking up this energy like they're around you quite often or they know a lot about you and they've been in your circle before you know what i mean they could have been like really good friends with you before and then you drifted but this is what i'm picking up so let's pull some more cards well i've already pulled the cards but let's add some more cards to it so we have the queen of cups and we have the page of pentacles and we have the ace of wands again so we have the ace of wands twice hmm okay so what i'm really picking up here is this person may be a cancer because i'm actually picking up this person's quite emotional so it could be a cancer sun moon or rising um i feel like this person may have watched you go through a heartbreak um of some sort like you may have been getting out of a relationship and this person has some type of heartache um watched you go through some type of heartache and they've they're quite protective over you to be honest with you like the energy that's coming through here they're quite protective um and i feel like they're very loyal to you um for some of you guys but someone from the past like there may have been like arguments or like petty arguments in the past but i just feel like they i don't even think that you i feel like you overlook this person i feel like this person really has your back um and this person's very loyal to you one of these people has a dog like i'm being shown like a dog then walking a dog 
um are you guys walking a dog and i'm seeing you walk a dog or you see them walking a dog i'm just being shown an image of that guys so again take that as it resonates um and i'm being shown like a little cocker spaniel so i don't know maybe they're just showing me like a random dog this could actually be significant for one or two of you but i'm being shown a cocker spaniel um and now they're showing me a labrador but i'm gonna cut that off before they start showing me like a hundred different dogs um <laughs> but we have the page of pentacles as well and i just really feel like this person really puts you on a pedestal they think you're like queen or king you know what i mean like they really do think that you're like they're like they, they really look at you and admire you like just who you are in general they like little things that you are quite insecure about like i said they see a lot more of you than what i expected to kind of pull from this pile i thought this would be like people on the sidelines and were looking on social media but this is a very intimate feeling i'm getting here guys like i feel like there may have been like sleepovers in the past i'm being told or like things like that and it's just like they like little things about you like one of you guys may have like a gap tooth um, and they really like that i'm hearing they really like your smile some of you guys have dimples and it's just like little things like the way you do your hair or just like like your laugh i feel like some of them like really like your laugh like it's really intimate these feelings guys there's real feelings here sometimes when i do these it's like more of a lusty open type of energy but i'm really feeling like a warm heart and just like a really intimate feeling like they really look at you like the page of pentacles like they look at you like wow like I would love this you know what i mean and with the ears of ones again like they are really trying to manifest this in they they, they think about it i'm actually here and they think about it at night when they go to sleep um they like you know sometimes when we go to sleep sometimes if we can't sleep we'll think of scenarios in our head like i feel like when this person goes to sleep like they'll think of you um which is actually quite cute to be honest with you um but yeah and i i just feel like they're holding off on it because the back of the deck guys we do have the um the four of pentacles which talks about like oh my god my nail does not look good there i need to repaint those but yeah we have the four of pentacles at the back of the deck and i just i just really feel like they, they they're kind of lacking the confidence to step forward to you and and it like they don't want to a jeopardize the connection with you you know what i mean they don't i feel like they think you won't like see it the same you know um i'm really picking up a lot of cancer energy here guys they're really holding it in and i actually feel like they've been holding it in for some time too you know what i mean um we then have the card friendship so again you guys have been friends for some time or they've been it and again we have cancer yeah we have the morning cancer that's like oh we have cancer here can you hear my grandmother's downstairs because she wanted to clean my house and like she knows i'm filming and you probably just hear her she's going shh to my mother because <laughs> my mother's quite loud um so yeah with a friendship card i really do feel like um i really do feel like they really value you as a person and it, it's i feel like this is stronger than just like this isn't even like lusty feelings of course they feel that way to you but it, this is like love feelings like this is like i'm really feeling a beautiful intimate kind of energy here you know what i mean um yeah i just they, they i feel like they want like they want to get married to you and have kids with you like they they want that you know what i mean and then we have the endurance card so sun in scorpio let's pop that by here that is not tidy i have like I like it to look nice you know what i mean um but with scorpio like scorpio is all about you know like the hidden emotions and things like that so there's a, just a lot that they are holding in and if you actually look at that card there's like a man wrestling what looks to be a lion it's like they almost have to wrestle themselves and hold themselves back from this connection because they just worry that you aren't going to see it in this, the same it's like one minute they're like you know what i'm going to step forward i'm going to let them know and then like they're kind of like wrestling themselves in their head like no 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 like you can see in that card in the endurance card there's literally a man wrestling a lion it's like they're wrestling with their confidence you know what i mean it's like no we can't but i want to tell them but no it's like it's it's kind of like that and um yeah they really like you to be honest with you i don't know whether you guys like live by like a forest or a park of some sort i feel like you may have like i'm hearing childhood memories of being there like in a park or something like that it's quite cute to be honest and then we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership like this person really wants to give it a go like i said they may have already given it a go and maybe like something from the past but 
they want to give it another go you know what i mean and if you haven't given it a go before like they really want to see where it will go because they really they're quite sensitive as well to be honest with you i feel like you may have gone to school together some of you guys in here like you may still be in school um but then others of you like you went to school together it could be college or something like that i feel like you you've been around each other for like a long time i'm actually hearing this person is part of like your soul tribe like kind of like a soulmate but I don't know whether you've even thought about exploring those feelings with this person. I, I'm not really picking that up for you. I feel like you guys have been in like other relationships or just been going through other things. This isn't even something that you looked at. But I do feel like you do value this person as a friend too. But I do want to say like if you ever worry about like is this person genuine. Honestly guys the way I'm feeling with these cards. This person's very genuine towards you. Like this person's a very loyal person towards you. Like even if you do decide to just keep them in your life as a friend. This person's always going to be very loyal to you. And really picking that up you know. Um, So I pulled some cards just to see if we could get. um, You know little indications of like what the hair colour might be. The eye colour. You know just to kind of see. But just remember this is a general reading. So with these next cards that I'm doing. Literally just take what resonates okay. Um, so the first card that we actually have is tall. So this person may be quite tall. I'm actually hearing this person might wear like checked um, t-shirts. Remember this is general. But I'm hearing this person may wear like checked fleeces. Or checked t-shirts or hoodies or um, you know like them flannel shirts. Something like that I'm being told. And I'm also being told as well for some of you guys your person may wear glasses. Um, I'm hearing contacts but sometimes they wear glasses. Or they wear glasses around you. Or I feel like you wear glasses too and they like when you wear glasses because i'm being shown glasses too um there's a height difference i feel like this person's quite tall i'm hearing tall and thin um but again take what resonates we do have muscles this person may actually go to the gym um i feel like they have a very lean body to be honest with you but i do feel like they have very like healthy they're quite healthily toned you know what i mean um I don't know why I'm being shown somebody in a red hoodie. I don't know why that image just came through. I'm, I'm With this pile, I'm actually being shown like a lot of images of different people, like females and males. Like I'm actually being shown images like really strongly of like outfits that they'd wear and stuff. So I don't know why that's coming through. But I do feel like for a lot of you guys, this person has a lot of cancer energy and they're quite open with it. That's why I'm able to pick that up through them. And that's why through a lot of this reading, I was able to feel their emotions so strongly. Um, Because they do, I do feel like have a lot of cancer. Oh my God, and the next card then is sensitive. <laughs> yeah, this person's extremely sensitive. So if this person does, if you don't like this person back, make sure that you are sensitive with their feelings because they are really sensitive. Like the very light like not light-hearted kind-hearted in nature like you know what i mean like if you don't like them back just 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 be sensitive of their feelings you know um and we have curly hair so they may have curly hair you may have curly hair i'm picking up more sandy blonde than anything like sandy blonde light brown um but again take what resonates and then we have cheekbones so they may have very lovely cheekbones i'm actually here and they have a lovely jawline as well um so yeah, I hope this was able to bring you guys some clarity. I hope you guys have somebody in mind that fits this description. Um, I'm sending you guys so much love. I hope you have a great Halloween. I try to make this as nice and Halloween-y as I could. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys have a great day. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you for watching. Hey, panel number two, welcome to your reading. So let's take a look at who has a secret crush on you so i'm gonna start with a divine moon tarot deck um because i like them they're halloweeny and then i'll jump into the other tarot deck to clarify some more so to begin with guys we have the world card and we have the eight of swords straight up guys um this is somebody that you have been involved with in the past um for some of you guys it was just a fling for some of you guys it was like i don't think it ever turned into a relationship and if it did it was a very short lived relationship um almost i'm hearing karmic relationship um for some of you guys you may have just been texting and like really got on um or it could have been like a situation ship like you never clarified what it was or you could have been friends with benefits but whatever the case guys i feel like you had your time and i'm hearing it you had your time um 
and I'm hearing whether they would come back in the future is up to you it's all on you it's your free will spirit just saying what because I said are they gonna come back like would there be a chance between these two and spirit said that's up to them and that's all spirit said so I'm, I'm gonna just keep it at that um because if they don't tell me anymore it's something that you guys are supposed to work through on your own and I honor that so I'm just gonna hold that there but we also have the eight of swords now I'm picking up quite a straightforward message with this pile so if it doesn't resonate guys don't worry um just pick another pile but i'm really picking up like whatever happened this situation fell through for whatever reason um you felt like they weren't pull pulling their weight etc etc but i'm really picking up like they straight off of you got involved with somebody else um whether it ended up in a relationship or whatnot they straight up like got with somebody else and you're aware of this i'm hearing like you're aware that they're fooling with somebody else and i'm hearing like it's not like it's not like super super serious i'm hearing that it's like um this person that they're involved with like they like them they thought it was going to be cool at first they just wanted to jump to somebody else at first but now they're kind of feeling trapped and I feel like they're looking at your social media and they're really like realizing like oh my god what did I just throw away and I actually hear they're seeing you in like a new light and they really do have like a secret crush on you they're like oh my god like I can't I feel like that you, you may have argued or stopped talking or maybe just um chose to stay friends and they're like oh my god yeah it's fine like we're friends like whatever or they just like being like you know I'm, i don't want to talk to you anymore but whatever the reason because i'm picking up mixed messages because as i said this is general whatever the case guys um they still have a crush on you and now it's a secret crush because they can't really speak about it because i'm hearing that they're with somebody else and i really do feel like they there's a lot of regret and i'm hearing this song by leona lewis um forgive me i haven't heard that song in like 10 years oh my god but i'm hearing that song and i think she sings like hope you forgive me so it's like they're almost like hoping that like there could be like a doorway open i'm actually hearing for some of you guys you may see them about and they'll have like a little flirt with you to try and test the waters or they may swipe up to your instagram story and try and test the waters but this person still is thinking about you a lot and they shouldn't be because they're in a relationship and i feel like they almost feel trapped you know what i mean like they're worried that what's happened is it's come to an end between you two and that there isn't going to be like um a pathway back but they're with somebody else or involved with somebody else or heavily involved with somebody else and that i feel like they're trying to make out that it's all smiles and sunshine but actually there's regret there you know what i mean like there's regret and i feel like do you know that picture uh it's like a meme now on twitter and it's like two people walking and there's a, a like there's a male and a female walking holding hands but then there's a girl like walking past them and like the male is like looking at the other girl while holding hands with his girlfriend i'm picking up that type of energy like they're like holding hands with that person but then you're walking by and they're looking like damn you know what i mean look what i'm missing out on like that's the type of energy that i'm picking up and they're feeling restricted because it's like they want to run to you but they're still holding hands with this person that they're with you know what i mean um oh i just said he's a player so some of the you guys are female and this is a male again this can be vice versa so this is a general reading but somebody's spirit guy just said he's a player some of you guys have like quite jokey like spirit guys i love it um i'm hearing the song heartbreaker but i feel like you're quite wise to this person i think this is why this person is like damn like oh my god like you know it's like i've met my match because it's like you're kind of wise or at least you're showing this person that you may not care you know what i mean or they at least feel that way so the next cards we have guys is the five of cups the two of cups and the seven of wands so this person's actually quite disappointed i feel like they're looking at your social media and it's like if you if you are putting up pictures with like your friends and they see you going out or maybe you're with somebody else so like i feel like um i'm actually here for one of you guys they saw you in a car with somebody else or something like that i'm not quite sure take that as it resonates but i just got told that but i'm really feeling like they're feeling really disappointed right now and i am picking up like this person never realizes what they have till it's gone it's like they always want what they can't have and it's like you're looking very appealing to them right now because i feel like a lot of the people that are from their past when they've jumped to somebody else those people have like 
still kept in contact still wanted to stick around been upset by it but i feel like you've just got on with your life dusted it off and just like dealt with it and you, you just be in your happy self and they're almost looking at it like oh my god what the hell like i want this person back now you know that's what i'm picking it up and i feel like they're quite disappointed and it's like there are real feelings there guys like i'm not saying there isn't but it's like this person has a lot of like deep wounds going on inside them that they just kind of like need to work on you know what i mean so it's hard for them to really open up their heart too much they like to keep things surface level but i do feel like you you know just kind of getting on with your life i feel like that is making them think hmm you know what i mean it's like damn damn um and then with the two of cups like this person does feel a connection with you that actually you know sometimes like when you want what you can't have you almost fantasize about it like it's gonna be the best thing in the world i'm not saying you won't be the best thing in the world but it's almost like they overly fantasizing about you at the moment and like what could have been what should have been and all of that like they're really doing that right now it's almost like oh my god we could be like a power couple we could be that like they're thinking of it like that and i do feel like they want a union but there's also like an energy that for some of you guys i feel like you may have argued when you stopped speaking so it's almost like they're trying to tell themselves like no like no we can't talk to this person no like we can't speak to this person because that you know they were in the wrong or like they were they told me to leave them alone some of you guys may be blocked but i'm just sharing like they're almost battle in their mind a little bit like if i try and speak to this person this person's gonna like argue with me this person doesn't want anything to do with me so i need to show this person what they're missing and be happy with this other person you know what i mean it's like they're battling in their mind like they want that and then it's like the next like minute they're like scolding themselves like almost like batting it off like no we can't feel this way you know what i mean um i'm kind of picking that up and then with the seven of oh my god i just said the seven of ones why am i trying to read it again but that's <laughs> that's what i'm kind of picking up here like it's it, i'm i'm really taken to that card it's like there's a they feel defensive they feel like if they talk to you that like you're going to like fight them or you're gonna push them away it's like they feel like you wouldn't want to talk to them or the eight of swords as well like they just feel very trapped in the relationship that they're in or in the situation that they're in you know what i mean it's like damn um i think this person says damn a lot because i keep saying damn um so the next card we have is control um to be honest with you guys i feel like what got this person let me put it up here it looks prettier up here what got this person in this situation is that they weren't allowing the heart to come out and they were just like showing too much control and this kind of caused you to walk away because they weren't doing what they should have been doing and they're trying to control their emotions and their feelings for you they're looking at your social media sometimes they're like it's like they're battling their brain to like stay off your social media to not ask people about you like there's that type of energy because the next card we have is detachment they feel like you've detached they feel like you want nothing to do with the situation. They just feel like you... They feel like you want nothing to do with the situation. So they're just like... They're around somebody else. But they're thinking about you a lot. And they still... They have more of a crush on you now than ever before. Um, because there's a lot of fantasy involved now. You know what I mean? Um, but they're thinking about you a lot when they really shouldn't be. Because I do feel like these people that are in a relationship are telling other people that they want to be with them. When really their eye is actually on you. Um, so that's quite juicy to be honest with you. I didn't expect this to be honest. Um, and then we have retreat. Yeah, I feel like you two had something at one point and there's been a retreat. You know what I mean? Like you guys have just um it ended, it split, and they they do think of that. In the back of the deck they have the ace of cups. So this person wants a reconciliation with you. You know what I mean? They do want a re reconciliation. Um so now I'm going to pick these cards that I created myself. Now, just remember, guys, this is a general reading and these cards are talking about things like, you know, eye colours and hair colours just to see if we can get any specifics. But this is a general reading. So with the next cards that I'm about to pull, really remember just to take what resonates. We're just going to see what we can get here. Um, so the first card that we have is Muscles. I actually was going to say, like, I feel like this person may be... Um, a bit of a gym freak i feel like this person goes to the gym a lot they really care about their physical appearance so they may be somebody that um i'm actually t picking up two types of um archetype like type people like the first type of energy that i'm picking up from this pile is um somebody that likes nice fancy cars 
um clothes things like that so if it's a female you're thinking about i'm picking up like chape evans from like high school musical like i'm picking up like kind of bougie type of energy like that um or if it's like a male i don't know why i just got shown drake maybe they like drake i don't know if it's a male i'm just picking up somebody that likes all of that you know chains gold chains like um jewelry and um cars and just expensive finery things you know what i mean just like watches and just stuff like that um i'm kind of picking up i'm hearing like gold chains i don't know why i'm hearing gold chains so maybe one of your people wears gold chains um but then i'm also picking up another type of archetype whereas like this person may be a bit of a like a rebel because if it's a female i'm picking up i don't know whether you guys ever watched iCarly i used to watch iCarly i remember sam from iCarly and she was a bit of a She's a little bit crazy, wasn't she? She used to, like, fight people and stuff. So I'm picking up that for a female. And then I'm also picking up, like, males. You know the Breakfast Club? You know the guy who, like, the really naughty boy? <laughs> you know that guy and he's, like, really mean and he, like, dances on the tables and he's quite, like, he's a troublemaker? I'm picking up him. Um, So just take what resonates. Those, those are the type of energies I'm picking up from these piles. Um oh god sorry guys but i'm picking up like the cereal lovers you know what i mean um but they like the gym a lot i'm being told um we then have curly hair so this person may have curly hair i'm picking up more dark hair for this pile the other pile it was a different story because we had curly hair in the other pile but this pile it's like i'm picking up dark dark hair um we then have work so you guys may work with this person or have worked with this person um you guys may have been to school with this person been in college with this person um definitely an element where you would have been learning or working together could be involved here we then have health maybe you guys went to the gym together maybe this person was your personal trainer or something like that because like i said with muscles like i feel like they were a bit like gym freaks you know what i mean so they may really look after their bodies and their health and stuff like that they may be virgos sun moon or rising um or they may have a lot of placements in the sixth house um and then the final card we have guys is blue eyes so they may have blue eyes um, I'm hearing they have very intense stares. They're quite intense. Um, and I feel like you guys may have gone for like spins a lot in a car because I'm being taken to two people in a car. So I don't know whether you guys went in a car somewhere with this person. There was like a lot of driving at night with this person um, for some of you guys. I'm quite picking up. Um, but they are thinking about you. And to be honest with you, if this relationship or whatever they're in does fall through, they will try and... Um, test the soil a little bit i'm being told um and like spirit said it's up to you guys what you do with that um so i hope this was able to give you guys some clarity i hope you guys enjoyed um i'm sending you guys so much love i hope you guys have a great day and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pile number three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at who has a secret crush on you guys so to start guys i'm starting with a D divine i don't know whether it's spelled like divine or deviant so i say divine i'm starting with a divine moon tarot um because they're spooky and it's halloween month and then we will move in to the other tarot cards so to start off we have the chariot and strength so we have two major arcana cards to start off so this person's feeling quite strongly towards you pile three um i feel like this person is quite um business orientated this person really um how can i explain this person i'm hearing the word dashing i don't know why i just hear that but like they they're very they're well known i'm hearing they're well known um they may have like a big following on social media or something like that they're well known but they're like um very confident people and i feel like they have a lot of friends i feel like they fit in everywhere um so with the strength card i'm really picking up like they may be um leos um so sun moon rising because i'm here and they have quite big hearts but they're very good with their words and they're very confident and cocky and it's just like they have a charm that people like so i'm picking up strong gemini energy here sun moon or rising because i'm here and they're very adaptable and i'm also picking up some strong aries as well um but this person may be known to you because i feel like you are aware of this person kind of i'm feeling like this person may be known to you as like um like a serial data or just like you know they've had a lot of boyfriends or girlfriends or a lot of people know about them like that but i do feel like this person wants to step towards you with something serious but they're quite intrigued by you like they're intrigued by you because i really do feel like 
this person finds you really interesting i feel like some of you guys may be into spirituality or just something i feel like some of you guys may do something unique for a living or they just find you unique the way you dress the way you talk something like that has really caught their eye i feel like you may have met or they may have had their first glimpse of you in a crowd so that could be in like a classroom a concert a bar take it as it resonates guys but i'm just sharing like they would have had a glimpse of you in like a crowd maybe like a house party or something like that and they really want to get to know you like this is there's a very optimistic kind of like energy here like they're very intrigued i feel like it may not even be long before they ask you on a date or ask to do something for you because i do feel like these people are quite forward um even if they, they may have already done it. So if there's somebody in your DM saying, shall we go for a date? It's probably this person, to be honest. But I just feel like this person, um, they're keeping an eye on you right now. They're very intrigued by you. And I just feel like you guys may be quite controlled. You guys may be quite, um, have everything together. And they're kind of wanting to break down those walls. Um, there's almost like a light on your head that they're kind of like seeing, you know what I mean? Sometimes when we see like somebody that we like or somebody that's meant to be like of, well, for me anyway, whenever I see somebody of like resonance, like in my life, like they'll almost have like a golden like hue to them. Like I know that they're supposed to be, um, in my life and I'm really picking up that's the way, that's the way this person's like looking at you. It's almost like they feel like their intuition's leading them to you and it's something that they can't really put into words. So they're just kind of following you, um, and your energy right now. Um, so let's put on some more cards. So we also got the two of swords. We have the ace of cups here, beautiful. And we also, oh God, and we also have judgment. So I really do feel like you are not aware of this person at all. Um, and if this person is in your DM saying to you like, oh my God, like we should go on a date. It's almost like you're bluffing them or you're like kind of looking over them like, eh. Like I, I don't feel like you're that interested and they kind of feel that from you. Um, And it's like, I'm hearing like you're like a closed book to them and they're wanting to get to know you more. Um, If you guys have never spoken, then they're just kind of like on your social media a lot. um, And really just wanting to know more about you. You know what I mean? Let me just move this a minute, guys. My camera's, I'm filming this on my phone and it's like deciding to tell me that my battery is low so there we go i actually think that's bad on it too because you can actually see the cards there we go um so yeah i don't feel like you guys are that aware or if they are speaking to you it's almost like you're, you're overlooking them and they just this they feel like there's a lot more deeper to you and they want to get to know you and i do feel like they're preparing to like come towards you with a love offer to be honest with the ace of cups these people are quite emotional um i want to say emotional it's more like they have big hearts and i just feel like you know how this person felt because they tell you i feel like they're quite open with like how they feel um and i i do feel like it won't be long before this person just kind of like pops up with a question for you to say hey you know i like you let's like let's spend some time together i want to get to know you let's spend time together like i'm really picking that up um and again with judgment i actually do feel like spirits actually around the two of you right now like this actually might be a soulmate connection, to be honest with you. The fact that we have judgment here, like, that they're, they're being called to you in some type of way. And if they're following their intuition and they're being called to you, then that would be for a reason. So definitely keep an eye out, guys, because this could be the start of something new, you know? Hannah, like, that's not Hannah Montana, High School Musical. I was going to sing, but um, I don't know. I'm not in a singing mood today, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not, so I'm not going to sing for you guys um i know some of you guys may be a bit disappointed but you know i'm not feeling i'm feeling camera shy um but anyway um yeah i just really do feel like this may be a divinely fated connection to be honest with you the way that um the way that i'm feeling here they're feeling very intuitively connected to you like that doesn't come from just anything you know what i mean um so let's pull some more cards we also had charity why did i just flick that out of the way we also had charity um this person's gonna come through with an offer soon you know i'm i'm picking it up within the next four weeks or four months but i'm here in four weeks within the next four weeks something's something's gonna come through i swear like I'm, I'm picking up that energy i just really feel like they're gonna come towards you with or they may try and like see something that you um need help with and then try and help you with it you know what i mean so it's like they may um see that you need help with like a specific like 
um project that you're working on or whatever and they'll try and help you with it you know what i mean they're like they're scouting i feel like they'll scout your social media and be like oh i see you're doing this do you want any help because i have this like it might come through like that you know what i mean um the next card we have is optimism like this person has a very optimistic approach to life in general um i feel like they're quite optimistic and they're quite like oh let's just see how it goes and they kind of just like listen to their intuition and they just kind of like go with it and i just really feel like that's what's leading them to you you know what i mean and um the fact that at the back of the deck we have the page of cups i do feel like this would be like a proper surprise for you guys because like obviously the guys are holding a cup and then a fish like just comes out that's quite optimistic you know what i mean so it's like there's this optimistic energy to it so they're not like putting too much pressure on it but only because they don't put pressure on things i'm being told they just go with life um and they're the type of people to be like they'll put their feelings on the table and if you don't like it it's a, it's a case of like oh well you're lost you know what i mean they're not gonna be like oh my god they don't like me like that's why they just like they have a lot of courage with the strength card it's like they'll just tell you how they feel and if you decided you didn't want anything they'll be like okay never mind um that's just the energy that they have so when they do message you it may be very out of the blue like you'll be like whoa like you you know what i mean i'm for some of you guys like they'll be they have already been around and you'll be like you but then others of you guys it's almost like you don't know them you're like where did this come from oh my god like they've been around for some time and known about you but you haven't really known about them all that much um and then we have worth waiting for so it's almost like they they're waiting for you to kind of come around divine timing is at work in your love life i honestly do feel like this will actually turn into a relationship because i actually feel like you guys have been single for some time and you actually had some bad relationships and i feel like this person is going to change that for you i feel like you're both going to shock each other about how easy the connection is i see this turning into i didn't see this taking this type of turn but honestly i actually see this being like some type of soulmate that has their eye on you i didn't see it taking this turn these cards today have surprised me like i did not expect what i got so yeah i feel like this may turn into a relationship to be honest with you guys um now i'm gonna pull these cards these are cards that i made by myself and they have things on them like eye colors hair colors um and just remember this is a general reading so if none of these resonate just like take them with a pinch of salt because this is a general reading so they'll fit for some of you and then they won't fit for um others of you so we're just gonna we're just gonna get a little bit deeper so the first card we have is brown eyes so this person may have brown eyes i'm hearing like hazel or like really dark brown um i am picking up light eyes too but i don't know we'll, we'll see we then have friend of a friend yes oh my god so i feel like like, you know, like i said you may have met them in a like a uh, social setting i feel like it could have been like a party where like you brought your friends a friend of yours brought their friends and they would have been one of those friends if that isn't too complicated to understand um but you know what i mean like they they're they're on the outskirts of your life like they're a fr like there's a link that's what i'm trying to explain there is a link to you too you know what i mean um we then have five plus years older so this person may be a little older than you guys um i'm also here in two years so i don't know we'll we'll you'll know you'll see because i do feel like this is going to turn into a relationship i'm also here in two years so take what resonates guys but on um, the card that's come up as five plus years old so that can resonate for some of you and um, we also have blue eyes too i did say i was picking up light eyes as well so so some of you got brown eyes for some of you blue eyes and then we have family orientated so you know, like i said this person has a really big heart i feel like they have a really close connection with their mother um a really close connection with their fam um their mother i just feel like they're quite um they have a nice family i'm being told they have a good family and i just feel like um they had like a good childhood or something like that they may have had like jupiter and cancer or something like that they had, a, they had a good childhood they have like a good family support unit you know what i mean um i'm picking up that and they're going to be very family orientated like with you if you would ever get with them you know what i mean like i feel like they do see themselves having like kids and stuff like that at one point like they are that those type of people and we have deep so this person has deep emotions um like i said they're very open with their emotions like they'll tell you how they feel so um i feel like it might even shock you like how deep this person is it may come across at first like they're quite surface level and then you know they'll show you you know what's underneath and you'll be like boom okay you're deep <laughs> um so that's all i have for you guys i hope you enjoyed your reading um i hope you were able to kind of pinpoint who this may be um 
when you if this person does dm you or message you or whatever remember to come back here and let me know because i'm nosy like that and i like to hear about stuff like that so especially if it's a soulmate that's exciting um so yeah let me know down below in the comments how this resonated for you don't forget to like um and subscribe if you enjoyed if you haven't already yet and i'm sending you guys a lot of love have a great day and hopefully i will see you guys in my next reading um so thank you guys for watching hey panel number four welcome to your reading so we are looking at who has a secret crush on you so i'm going to start with the two um tarot cards from the divine moon deck because they are halloweeny and i'm going to start using them this month because obviously it's halloween month and then we'll move into your other tarot cards and get it deeper so to start off guys we have the hierophant and the page of pentacles I really do feel like this could be someone that may be like a boss or um, somebody older than you. I'm picking up an age gap here, guys. This is someone that is a little bit older than you guys or just has that energy of being older. They may have a lot of Capricorn um, in their chart. They are somebody who has a lot of responsibility. Um... They could be like a friend of like an older brother or an older sister or they could just like it could literally be a boss or like somebody who's higher up the, of you like higher up higher up than you in your place of work there's like that type of energy and i feel like i mean with the pentacles as well it talks about money i just feel like there is some type of like money and work involved i'm not sure but this person um I feel has been trying to get your attention for some time and it's almost like you're not budging I feel like you're not budging either for some of you guys you're not budging because you it's like a, a work situation or this just this person you feel is off limits or it's just not somebody you'd ever think of looking at in that way um, and then for others of you I just feel like you don't I feel like you might not even like this person's energy because I feel like this person's quite um domineering you know what I mean this person's quite um I'm in charge and I feel like you're a bit like mm, like I don't know maybe a bit intimidated by this person um but I just do feel like there's this person maybe a little bit higher up than you um yeah that's what I'm picking up if you guys can hear like Shh, um my family are trying to take wallpaper off the walls downstairs and it like because I got an old house it echoes all the way up and um yeah so if you hear Shh, it's a steamer on the wall taking the wallpaper off um but yeah with the page of pentacles like i just really do feel like this person's really looking at your social media and i feel like this person is quite deep like i feel like they've got quite um like dark eyes and i just feel like they um they kind of study you in a way like how you act your body language how you talk when you're around like that and i think that's what might make you guys feel a little bit like off for this person um but i just feel like some of you guys that there may be a little bit of banter that kind of went the wrong way between you two like there's almost like an energy that you may not like this person or you may just see this person as a bit of a you know not a like like a dick basically you know what i mean i try not to swear on this channel but you know what i mean like i just feel like you might not i feel like you find this person quite arrogant or just like I'm actually hearing one of you guys say don't tell me what to do so I don't know like I feel like this person really likes you when they're trying to get in your eye line but it's like every time they do it they're I feel like they're um they always result back especially if they're a bit nervous to like their mandatory settings in a way and their settings are very like in control and I just feel like they may try and say things that you take as like them trying to have something over you and it kind of like backfires you know what i mean you get a bit agitated with them and they don't mean it to be that way and they're just like oh you know what i mean um but i feel like they do come across as quite controlled emotionally because um the back of the deck of the tarot which i'm going to show you in a minute we have the king of cups so this person's like quite um control of their emotions i don't feel like they're very good at opening up about how they feel and i just kind of feel like they want to open up but they they come across quite stern and they don't mean to they may have a capricorn moon um but i feel like you may have the wrong i'm actually hearing from spirit like you have the wrong impression of them and they're needing to work on like coming across a little bit softer or opening up about their feelings and stuff you know what i mean like it's that of energy but i am really feeling like there's a there's a kind of like a work environment involved or like a college element involved or they just are 
friends of like an older sibling or something like that it's it's a funny type of energy here but i am picking up more workplace than anything else um so the next cards that we have guys we have the ten of wands um we have the four of pentacles yeah this person's like very work involved and we have the eight of swords like this person almost feels like this is a no-go like you wouldn't want this situation um i feel like they've kind of made up their mind that you don't like them in a way um or that you're not interested and it's like they almost feel like with a ten of wands like they're trying their hardest to try and get you to like them but it's like it's almost backfiring all the time and it's because they're having a hard time opening up with their feelings or being more carefree because i feel like they naturally are quite closed off and i feel like they're trying to think of ways to get you on their own because i feel like every time that they've spoken to you it's been in like a more of a group setting um and i feel like they'd be able to open up to you on their own but it's like that they're, they're worried about taking that risk to be like hey do you want to do this or do you want to do that because i'm hearing like they hate me you know what i mean like they feel like you don't like them um and they don't want you to see them as just like somebody above them you know what i mean and it is almost like this there's an energy like this person just doesn't want anything to do with me or this person just isn't interested in me like this person just sees me as like a boss or like this person just sees me as above them or like whatever feelings you have of them like they maybe are or gonna want not it's like they know <laughs> you know what i mean they read you they kind of like know that you might not like them and they're just like ah, you know what i mean but i do feel like they do quite like you but it's like they don't know how to come across they have a hard time expressing feelings like that and then they result to being more closed off and then that just makes you not like them more um i do feel like they look at your social media i feel like you're around them quite a bit though like I'm hearing like weekdays so this is why I'm thinking like maybe it's a job because I'm hearing in your weekdays so I don't know we have domination yeah this person's quite domineering naturally um like I said I think I'm sure I just said domination like they 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 like to be in control you know what I mean there's like a lot of um divine masculine here whether it's a male or a female like they're very like divine masculine they like to be in control and it almost comes across sharp to some people i feel like it is coming across sharp to you but they, they want to like say to you like look you've got the wrong idea of me literally you know what i mean but it's like they don't know how to even spark up that type of conversation because i feel like even though they are quite like um domineering and stuff they don't do well to um people not liking them or people biting back they don't like that um I do feel like they do come across sometimes as a bit arrogant but it's like they don't mean to it's just taken in a different way they have like a I feel like they have a bit of Aquarius in their sun moon and rising as well we have indecision here as well so it's like they don't know whether to um step towards you and be like look I like you you know what I mean or like should we do something or like maybe having that type of chat with you they want to show their more fun spontaneous side to you but it's like they don't know how it's like they're undecided about how to you know go about the situation you know what i mean um and then let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally this whole misunderstanding or whatever it is is being caused because they are very they are quite controlling they have control issues and i feel like this is teaching them to like kind of like let go and loosen up a little bit um because they don't have to be in control all the time i feel like in their childhood they may have had to be like the older um one in the family they may have had to parent their own parents so it's caused them to be quite like okay i need everything under control i need to know how things are going to go and they're kind of learning um through this situation that they can't be like that you know what i mean um but i actually do feel like you guys may actually become friends and maybe more because i do feel like they will kind of like open up in some type of way i feel like this connection may actually turn out like you kind of get them to open up and be themselves a little bit more you know what i mean i am kind of picking that up here and you guys definitely know who this person is i feel like it's definitely related to work you know um so then i'm gonna pull these cards that i created guys and with these cards just take them with a pinch of salt remember it's a general reading like i just wanted to get a little bit deeper but these cards have very like to the point answers on them like colors of eyes and colors of hair and stuff like that and just remember it's a general reading so not all of them are going to be specifically for you okay um so the first card we have is athletic so this person may have a very athletic body they may go to the gym a lot they may be into that you may even like they may even be like a fitness instructor or someone you might like go to the gym with them you know what i mean they could be like an owner of a gym that you go to or something like that um we then have tall so this person's significantly quite taller than you i'm actually here on like six foot to six foot four this person's quite tall um we then have friends first so i feel like 
this situation if you do turn it into anything i do feel like it would be best for you guys to become friends first i'm picking up more co-workers but i don't even think i have a card for co-workers so that could be what it's kind of like um alluding to we then have divine masculine so a divine masculine like i said this person's very connected to that side of them whether they're male or female um so they definitely have those type of like Mars type of traits, you know what I mean? Very action orientated, um, very um, in control of situations. Like I'm just picking up that type of energy. And then we have curious. So this person's very curious about you. Like I said, I feel like they look at your body language and how you are. Like they're quite curious about you as a person. Um, They may even ask questions that may to you be a bit like invasive, you know what I mean? That's maybe... One of the reasons why you might not be too interested and then we have muscles um so again as well as athletic i feel like this person has quite big muscles they go to the gym i'm seeing somebody in a suit to be honest um but like i said guys just take what resonates so i hope that was able to give you guys some clarity i hope you enjoyed this reading um i hope you guys have a beautiful day thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video i'm sending you guys a lot of love and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next reading so thank you all for watching i'll see you guys soon